What is up guys? Uh, here we are on another Friday. Um, just wanted to reach out uh, and say hey and I uh, hope you're having an awesome week. Um, been great hearing from you guys and seeing some of your posts and things this week so keep it up. I um, want to share a little bit out of God's word with you today. Um, found in 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 10 it says for godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret. So in the past few weeks, you've heard me uh, mention the word repentance um, pretty frequently, um, as I believe that it uh, should be a daily, routinely part of our daily life. And uh, I just thought, well, I hadn't really described what that looks like or said why. Um, so I wanted to um, just talk a little bit about that today. I think sometimes we get into the idea, the idea in our head that Maybe repentance is kind of like this one-time thing that we do at the point of salvation because it is a part of salvation, but then we don't really ever make it um, another part of a part of our daily life, or we you know ever really visit the idea of repentance again. Um, the rea the reality is is that you're never really going to ever be done with repentance, um, and and while that it, it's something that should be done frequently, it should never be something that we just get used to. Um, repentance requires us to be intentional every day. And if we're honest, I think we probably have more of repent, uh, more to repent of at the end of the day than we could ever really remember. And so I think the idea, you know, sometimes is like, okay, well, where do I even begin? Where do I even start with repentance? Like I sin all the time. Um, so, uh, you know, how do I remember all that stuff? But it's not... It's not so much remembering detail after detail, although repentance with detail and prayer with detail is is definitely good and it's definitely important. Repentance is both an attitude and an action. It's more than just being sorry for your sins or just trying to eliminate a bad habit. Repentance is essentially um, seeing this terrible disaster that is sin um, and then pulling away from it. Um, it's we talked about this when we talked about hating evil or hating sin about like the this idea that, that sin should make you kind of pull back it should make you recoil um, but sometimes our sin becomes so comfortable it becomes so familiar to us that we hardly really ever even bat an eye at it and because it's, it's comfortable and familiar in our own lives when we see it in the lives of other people um, it doesn't it doesn't cause any kind of concern either um, pulling away from sin will only come when we realize how holy God is, and in, in our pursuit of Him, um, we be also pursue holiness as well. Um, and we desire to be holy because we desire Him. And see, until we understand our sin, um, all of it, like that, that all of our sin essentially is, uh, like Romans 5 talks about, uh, is this kind of rebellion against God, that we're enemies, that we're powerless, that we're weak, that we're uh, in need of a Savior. But until we realize that all of our sin is basically the self-destructive rebellion against God that opposes our purpose as Christians and his purpose for our life, um, that uh, it not only opposes our, our purpose, but it also denies him, denies God um, his worthiness, his worthiness of praise, his worthiness of glory, his worthiness of admiration, then we're never going to pull away from sin unless we realize those things. But see, repentance isn't just pulling away from sin. It's also purposing our, in our heart to walk in righteousness by finding our meaning and finding our um, identity and finding our purpose in God. It's dying to self daily. It's denial of self daily. It's walking in newness of life with God. And like I said, the Christian life isn't particularly, and particularly repentance, isn't just about eliminating bad behavior. It's about seeking after God and pursuing him and resolving to live um, your life for the glory of God and not for the glory of self. Finally, repentance is about repetition. We have to realize that we're going to repeat this process over and over again. And just like God's work in us is ongoing, um, so will the call of repentance be. Um, because as long as we continue to sin, we're, all, we're, we're going to have a need for repentance. You know, and the reality is, is that if, if repentance isn't really an ongoing thing in your life, it's not um, you know, something that, that happens pretty frequently in your life, it probably means that um, you've probably chosen to deal with uh, some of your sins um, and then you've probably spent a great time just ignoring the others. 
um, this will this will likely lead to a self uh, a sense of self pride or uh, confidence or self reliance that somehow maybe you've arrived or that you've overcome all your sins when in reality you've only become religious on the outside and are no longer keeping your heart just like we talked about the last time. See, so remember these two things. If you find out, if you find that the God that you serve agrees with everything that you're doing, like you don't feel this sense or need to repent in your life ever, then the God that you serve is probably you. So, you know, that's, that's not really a good thing. And remember also, secondly, that no one will lie to you like you will lie to you. Um, so allow God's word to examine you. Allow God's word to expose you. And don't let pride and, dishonest, and dishonesty disillusion you and give you a false sense of who you really are. I talked about that Sunday in my message. Um, repentance in your life uh, that is deep and consistent will have a tremendous impact on your faith and in your confidence. Not because you repent so well and you become like this great Christian, but because in repenting, consistently and and having repentance as a part of your daily walk you will um, begin to know and realize the darkness and the trouble of your own sin that it, that exists in your own hearts and your dependence on jesus christ and the great work that he's done to overcome that sin in your life plus let's be honest the great part of repent probably one of the greatest things about repentance other than it brings you back to god and right right standing with god is the fact that the best kind of people to be around are the people that know that they need God, are the people that know that they need grace. The best kind of people to be around are the people that know that they need forgiveness. And if repentance is a daily part of your life, then you're going to know that you need grace and you're going to know that you need forgiveness. And you're going to be much more likely to give grace and forgiveness to those around you, which means you'll be the kind of person that people will want to be around. You'll be the kind of person that I want to be around. All right, so here's the challenge for today. You guys know that I love um, pretty heavy, heavy metal music. Um, you guys know the band for today. Um, they, they do our intro song when we do on Wednesday nights, um, and they're one of my favorite bands. Um, so they sing a song called Emmanuel, The Challenger, um, and the lyrics, it's like a 40-second song, and the lyrics are literally repent or perish, right? Um, and sometimes we kind of grin or you know, snicker at, that, at the simplicity of that. But in reality, if you think about it, it's so simple, but yet so true. Turn away from your sin, turn away from your sin, repent, do all the things that I just talked about, right? Or perish, self-destruct. Destruction is your path. Continue along the line of sin, continue along the, uh, the line of uh, the, the path of sin, and you will perish. You will self-destruct. You will, I mean, sin is never, we've talked about this before, sin is never constructive. It's always destructive. So, um, Here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a piece of paper or in your prayer journal or something like that. I want you to make like a little poster or a sign or something like that. It can be big or small. It doesn't matter. But uh, and I want you to put it somewhere where you'll see it. Somewhere probably close to where it says God is good and in control, right? Um, that other poster that we made. I want, you to, I want you to make a sign or a poster that says repent or perish on it. And I want, you to I want it to be a reminder of you. Uh, to you about the need to repent so you can constantly um, be reminded of our need to repent and to reconcile to God. All right, here's mine. Ready? Look. I know it's backwards for y'all. It's because I have the selfie cam on. But repent or perish. Look, mine's got like a little fire in it and stuff because I'm metal, right? Um, all right. I love and miss you guys so very much. Hit me up if you want to do your own video devotional, if you want to pair up with like a, you know, a friend or a sibling. Um, let me know if you need anything. Oh, as always, let me know. Let me know if you need anything or you know somebody who needs something. Um, I want one of y'all to do. I want some of y'all to do these these video devotionals. All right, step up, uh, get out of your comfort zone. You got time. I know y'all can write them because I've read them. So I love and miss you guys so very much. I will see you soon, hopefully. Bye now.